Well, hello, 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 and welcome to the second part of this Anakin Skywalker build. This time we'll be focusing on the cape. So here you have the patterns, you have this weird scarf part, which wraps around your neck on the front, and then you have the back panels that are on the back with the hood. First I began this build by making a new pattern. I had a pattern of this before, but it's way too small, so I had to make a new one. I'm going to mirror it, so I save some paper and it's more easier. This is my fabric. I will dye it, because it's just a tad too light. And here we have the pieces cut out. So there's the hood part, that's the front part, and here's the back one for panels. I begin by sewing those back panels, so four panels, so I do it twice. And of course my yarn decided to end when I began to sew. So here we go, moving on to the scarf part. Once you have all those sewn together, pinch the back parts enough so it fits the scarf part. Just pin those in place and try to sew it together. Here we have it all together, next we have to add the hood. So the hood would go onto the brim right there. And I also pin it in place, also I tuck the edge so it's more clean looking. I finish all the edges of the cape. And next we'll be adding this ribbon to the back of the neck. Just pinch your fabric and add it on the back there. This will hold actually the whole cape onto you. I will show it later on in the video how to wear it. Now it's time to make a brew. I will use this eye dye poly. It's just plain black and I need to darken my fabric just a little bit so it won't be as bright against the tunic and the pants. So I have some hot steaming water in this bucket and I just dump my cape into there, stir it for about 30 minutes and rinse it all with cold water. Now we can let it dry. And meanwhile it's drying up, we can finish all the other parts. So I'm going to add this elastic band to my pants, so they won't fall off in the middle of the duel. Also I finish all the edges on the pants, so I tuck the edges in. I also finished the OB. I added some velcro tape on the inside so it would close around me easily. And I added some velcro tape on the shoulder of my tunic so this will hold all the tappers in place. Yeah. 
and the other part goes on the fabric toppers. Here we have it all assembled. Next I tried it on and I marked where I want it to be cut off. So I need to shorten those ends just a little bit. Also, I sewed the back pieces into a V shape. I also shortened the leather ones. So these will be just shortened, the back doesn't need to be in a V shape. Then I just hand sew the leather toppers to the fabric ones, so they are one big piece. Now excuse me as I go get a new iron. So now we have most of our pieces ready. We can try it all on. I have been testing all these parts in the middle of the build, but now it's the first time that I actually sew it up. These are my old boots. I am very pleased with them. These are made on a ready boot. I just added some details like on the back there, the front and the straps. These are with snaps and that's with Velcro and it hides the lace on the inside. So now here we have the tapers all together and it's just easy to pop them onto your shoulder like so. of after saying how easy it is to pop them on, I decide to pop them on incorrectly. Here's with the obi, it's really easy to put on. And now we can wear the robe, so throw it all into yourself grab the loose ends of the ribbon and just tie a knot behind your back and that's how the cloak will stay on you and i'm sorry it's still a bit wrinkly because as you saw my iron broke and i and i didn't get the new one until now I must say I'm, I'm really pleased with this. 
this is so much better than my first version or my second version. Here's a great look of all the parts. Now mail time, except it's not. So here's my older belt. It has all the pouches. I've made them myself from silk clay. I was pleased with them, but now I want to upgrade those. So here's my new belt. I ordered it off the Etsy from Jedi Rope UK. I will going to modify it just a bit. Here's my new pouches. So these are two from Etsy. I found them from France 3D Creations, a really good shop. They're functional, just add some your hinges, but I need to fill and sand them because they have some print lines. But that's for the next video. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching.